Guess what the number one movie car is of all time? This one, the GT40 from Ford vs. Ferrari. It's literally the number one car. The movie is based on the real 1966 Le Mans race. Don't know what that is? Let me try to break it down in Le Mans terms. Sorry. It's a very prestigious European 24-hour straight long distance race. Ford beat dominant Ferrari and won it for the first time starting a dynasty with this GT40, driven by Ken Miles slash Christian Bale and designed by Carroll Shelby slash Matt Damon. GT40 got its name because it's only 40 inches tall, which is as low as it was legally allowed at Le Mans. It went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds and could reach speeds up to 212 miles per hour. In the 60s, that was unheard of. Recently, a 1965 GT40 sold for $7.5 million, and a 68 model fetched $11 million. So obviously, they weren't using the real cars in the movie. For a movie like this, the cars were driven hard for extended periods of time. Production couldn't stop if a car needed to be fixed, so they made nine GT40s used for the movie. There were multiple versions of the same car, and the rest were shells for stunts and camera work. The rigs were actually amazing. You can see the setup here where the stunt driver is actually driving in the front, and the actors can just act on the cars with cameras around them. Here's another one where the stunt driver sits in back for the behind the car shots. This is much better than what they used to do, which is just literally rope a dude to a hood and hope he didn't die. To cut costs, they would reuse the cars for different scenes and races by giving them a new paint job and numbered stickers. Don't forget to check out Brian Graham's and I's video of us street racing these cars, and tune in tomorrow to see what our next movie car is. Hey, what's it called when Matt Damon goes searching in a thrift store? Goodwill Hunting!